God, it looks just like a photograph. Wow. You need to calm down. All right, what's up guys? We're gonna do something a little bit different today. So instead of me roasting your art, I'm gonna be saying nice things about it and pointing out the things that you guys are doing very, very well. Let's do it. It's time that we undo some of the emotional damage that I've inflicted upon you guys. This will be like our little therapy session. And I really hope you have your tiny brain turned on and ready to learn because some of these artists are doing things immaculately well. With that being said, let's get into it. So I have the hashtag here, SamRoastMe9, where people put in their work uh, for their roast video, but I'm not gonna roast you. Huh? Okay, so first up, we gotta talk about the skin rendering in this piece. Look at these beautiful highlights put in just the right spots. On the tip of the cheek, on the transition between the front plane and the side plane of the face, as well as inside of that eye corner. Fantastic attention to detail, and look at the process here. It's so satisfying seeing all these blocks of colors being blended into to this, I mean, wow. Good job, give yourself a round of applause. Give yourself a pat on the back, you deserve it. Look at this, I mean like the, uh, you know what, this is not a roast video. Anyways, I really like the way that you've done the sweater, just the texture here, the graininess of it looks fantastic. And also the fur on the dog, which in this case, it looks really good. But, uh, and I, I'm not gonna say anything. Look at this, I finally done a piece with the background. It was fun to work on something different. Well, you know what? I'm so proud of you for trying something new, for stepping out of your comfort zone and doing this. And, and it looks great. This is your first time doing a background? It, it, I think the red lighting on the character contrasts so nicely with the rich, dark blue sky in the background and just makes for a really striking composition. Remember guys, if you're drawing characters and backgrounds and you're trying to create some contrast, Value is not the only way to do it. You can also do it with your colors. Good job. Well done. Oh, who's that? Is that Jenny? Is it Jenny? Let's see. Jenny! How did I know? So what I want to say is you've done a very good job capturing the likeness of Jenny because at first glance, I could tell who it was. So very, very good. Oh, oh, oh. What really draws me to this piece, uh, <laughs> That's a pun. <laughs> That's pretty good. What really draws me to this piece, <laughs> what really draws me to this piece is the fact that it's so stylized, but at the same time, it also looks very realistic. It's the way you've done the sparkles. I really like that. Okay, guys, look at this. Running from your responsibilities by not drawing the facial features. You know what? I'm against running from your responsibilities, but if you're gonna do it, at least do it in style. And this individual has done it in style. There's plenty of style here. I mean, the fact that you covered the facial features but decided to make something even more complex it's almost like you ran from your responsibilities by giving yourself more responsibilities what oh guys 3d stuff is so cool to me oh my god is that a pigeon or a chicken oh yeah that's a pigeon that's a pigeon this is crazy jesus christ wait a minute I love the way you've captured the lighting here and the way that you've done everything so realistically, but at the same time, when you zoom in on the brush strokes, it looks so rough, but it has the illusion of detail. My God, and when you zoom out, it looks like a picture. Are you out of your mind? You're an insane individual. You need to calm down. Oh, wow. Okay, I like the stylization in the face. I love the colors in this piece, and it's, uh, it's a draw this in your style. Wow, even the original is fantastic, too, but you did a really good job. Dude. I love how it's a realistic study of an image, but at the same time, it's so rough. It's so painterly. It's got so much texture to it. This is one of the things that I really admire about other artists is when they're able to convey a lot of detail without actually putting in the detail. Oh my goodness, look at that nice and smooth shading. Remember guys, if you're drawing a face and you're not sure about the way it looks, flip your canvas around to make sure that is correct, just like this person has done here. It looks very good both ways. Wow, what a beautiful individual. So I wanna point out the colors on the face here for those of you guys who wanna stylize your characters a little bit. Look at the tip of the nose and the color on the cheek. It's got a much warmer and saturated tone. And when you do this on your characters, it tends to make them look more lively. Whereas if you put down just one single color for the entire face, your character might look dead. Wow, guys, look at the style here. This is such a graphic, aesthetically pleasing kind of style. And I really appreciate that because I don't think I'd ever be able to have the patience to make something like this in my life. And look at the lighting in this one. The rim lighting on the hair, first of all, looks fantastic. I can tell exactly where the light source is coming from, as well as this very nice little bit of uh, subsurface scattering on the ear. Excellent study. You look at the shininess in the eyeball. Good Lord, that is fantastic. Oh my God, and this tiny piece of subsurface scattering 
on the outside wall of the ear. Wow, are you kidding me? So first of all, really good job on the foreshortening in this image. And foreshortening, for those of you guys who don't know, is what happens when I take my arm and I point it towards you. Whereas if I put it to the side, well, now you can see my whole arm, but here it's foreshortened. Just imagine we're in a fight and I throw a punch. You don't see the entirety of my forearm. All you're gonna see is my fist. And honestly, the lighting here, uh, the rendering, you know, in terms of the colors look fantastic. So you're killing it, dude. You're, wow. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the reflection in the glass? This feels like a frozen moment in time and I can literally see the movement in the image. Speed drawing practice, speed. Ugh, get out of here. Man, the texture here looks so good. It looks like you drew this on some kind of traditional watercolor paper and it wasn't draw this in your style. Did you win this? You should have. If you didn't win this, I'll have a word with uh, wh whoever wh whoever drew this. Oh, you know what? I kind of like this, despite the fact that you chose to cover like half the face. I think what really does it for me is the uh, kind of rectangular shape of this collar combined with the very round shape of his head. There's a very nice amount of contrast between this rectangle and this circle, and I think they work really well together. Now, I don't know if you've done that intentionally or if you're just accidentally a genius. So I hope your guys' small, tiny brains are absorbing a lot of this information so far because wow. Ooh. Now, I know Instagram has compressed this piece a lot and it's very pixelated, but I can still see the sparkliness in the highlight on the cheek and that looks so good. It's Guys, I'm about to start doing sparkles on my characters. This this looks so good. Let's let's do some traditional art appreciation, okay? Look at the sketch. I love the energy. I love the energy in your lines, in the way you've shaded the character. Pencil on paper just feels so good. And I agree, pencil on paper feels fantastic. And just how loose you can be with your sketches in a sketchbook is therapeutic. Look at the amount of detail in the background. What a good boy. Look at that, I love to see this. A full background with the character and you've put in a little cat and it kind of tells a bit of a story. You know, she's looking up from her book and spotting this little uh, strange looking little guy here. And just like a scene of ordinary life, but so much beauty to it. Nicely done. Oh, oh, is that Jenny? Oh, there it is. Why, why, why'd you put all this stuff in front of it? What? Anyways, good job with the likeness because I could immediately tell who it was. God, so effective. Very powerful shape language. I don't know if you did it on purpose or if you're also an accidental genius, in which case there's too many of you guys and I can't take it anymore. God, the highlights. God, the highlights on the skin, guys. The highlights on the skin. Okay, so first of all, I was gonna say what a beautiful sketch. I love the uh, stylization on the character and I love the energy of your lines and your shading. But, dude. It's so small. You're telling me you somehow managed to put this much detail and refinement into a drawing that's literally like this big. Are you kidding me? You guys are nuts. You're a bunch of nutty individuals. Dude, you drew this? Okay, so I have this reference saved in Pinterest and maybe one day I'll get to it eventually, but man, the way you've done it looks fantastic. God, it looks just like a photograph. Mm. This actually reminds me a lot of the way I like to render skin sometimes, you know, with the uh, cool and the warm, as well as the saturation in the transitions. So if that's what you were going for, uh, very good. Man, okay, so I love the way you've done the expression here. I can tell she's squinting at something. She's got this kind of like thinking face going on and I can feel what she's feeling. That's when you know you've gotten a successful expression is when you can look at a piece and you can feel. Good job. Look, same thing here. Look at the shape language. Look at how powerful the eyes are. The, the, the face, he's so angry. You can feel. If you can feel, then that expression is working well. Okay, this is fantastic because uh, when I first saw it, I thought it was a photograph. You've gotten your values, your colors, saturation level and all that. Perfect, you got it down. You, you, you that, that, stop. Harry Potter, you're a wizard, Harry. Oh, Harry, Harry, is that you, Harry? Oh, you're a wizard, Harry. Oh man, I love the colors here. I love this. It's so vibrant, you know, it's almost vibrant to a point where it shouldn't work. But in this scenario, it actually does work because this is a golden hour sunlight. And look at the process, very well done. And then there's the opposite of that. Look at this is muted, desaturated, but at the same time, it still works. Remember guys, you can find your own voice in many, many different ways. You could draw desaturated, you could draw low contrast, you know, find things that you enjoy, do things that you think look good. Follow your inner 
uh, artistic voice if you have one. Be yourself, be authentic, draw what you wanna draw, draw the way that you wanna draw. All right, I think that's enough. I think this is the Lord telling me that uh, I've said enough nice things. Okay, I lied, I kept going. Wow, would, ugh. Man, that's such a beautiful portrait study. I Okay, I especially like this vibrant color on the corner of the lip right there where it's in the light and then it transitions into this darker red in the shadow. I think that just, again, small touches like that in a painting oftentimes can make a very, very big difference. I love the style here. I love the way you've drawn the face and I like how you've tied your character into her surroundings. So you can see how there's this nice, pink rim light being cast by the pink in the back. And similarly here, you get a nice turquoise kind of rim light being cast from the smoke in the back. Fantastic. And speaking of backgrounds, guys, I got a tutorial this month on how to put your characters into a background and how to make it look realistic and pleasing to the eyes. So if you guys wanna check that out, head over to my Patreon. We do monthly tutorials based on your guys' requests. So check it out, you know, come hang out with us, join the family. All right guys, so there we go. I hope you guys are inspired to now go pick up a pen and start drawing. And I hope maybe you learned something new along the way from these incredibly skilled artists. And I'm not lying when I say I'm genuinely proud of all of you guys for putting your stuff out there and showing it to the world. So good job, you guys. You keep doing that. You keep it up. I'm very proud of you guys. Anyway, so this is a bit of a different video because I wanted to break up, you know, the videos on my channel with some good vibes every once in a while, you know, because that's what I'm about. I'm about the good vibes, like aggressively aggressively good vibes. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you guys feel inspired. Go into the comment section, start a fight. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. Yo, let me tell you guys a secret. Every video where somebody talks about things, you know, there's like a shot of them in the frame, you know, shoulders up, this kind of thing. And they always look very nicely dressed, very sharp. Everything's clean. They look good. Let me tell you something. This whole video, I have not been wearing pants. And this is what I'm saying, guys. People on YouTube, they're always like presenting themselves as like, wow, you know, so put together. So always on schedule, always got it together. No, I'm not even wearing pants. Anyways, guys, this is the skull of my enemy. Y'all be careful.